Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin AK Diego doing another Cataclysm Guide. Today we're talking about gear. I forget which part we're on, but it will be up in the title, I'm sure. You guys will see. So uh, I want to get right into it because there's kind of a lot to cover with gear. Um, what I want to say right off the bat is I, do, I will include two links in, in the little bar below, whatever the fuck you want to call it, uh, in the info bar. So check them out. They're links to main tanking and they're two gear guides. And they basically, you know, they got, uh, you know, blue gear all the way up to what they consider best in the slot. And the reason why there's two of them is because one, they both had different uh, different mindsets around gearing. One's a little bit more threat gear, threat gearing, gearing oriented. God, I can't spit out those words. And then the other one's a little bit more survival, mastery, avoidance, so on and so forth. Um, so just pick which one you like better. If you want, if you want, you could go half. You could get some threat gear and get some survivability gear, or just get what you could get your hands on. But I use those guys while I was gearing up, and uh, yeah. So make sure while you're following those guys, you are actually running the dungeons after you do your daily. You're running the dungeons that you actually need the gear out of. You're a tank, guys. You could queue for whatever you want and pretty much get an instant queue. No more, no, no 30 minute wait times like the DPS have. So we got, we got it pretty easy when it comes to choosing what instances we want and getting that gear qu pretty quick if it drops. Now, if it doesn't drop, what can we get? Um, are you going to be fucked? Absolutely not. You got three pieces of exalted gear you get, and I would recommend grinding those up first over your enchant, uh, which would be Thorzane for the shoulder enchant and uh, Earthen Ring for the helm enchant. This is basically because, well, the shoulder enchant is good at revered they do have a ring that's pretty nice if you're kind of a blue ring it's like item level 346 so if you're kind of slacking on rings yeah the thorzane ring's pretty good but i would recommend to not get those first because you can see bigger stat upgrades over the uh upgrading uh blues to epics over than just getting a new enchant so uh and then the earthen ring that takes uh revered to get to them and they don't have anything past revered or anything i don't they might have some blue stuff but you just check the guides but uh, they really don't have any epics for tanks that's why it's just kind of a waste to waste all that time grinding up that honor just for helm enchants so um So the gear you could get that you don't need to rely on drop rates, the back from Hyjal, the wrist from the camel people, the Ramalakalamanin people, plus you get a camel and some epic wrists, and uh, the boots from Dragon Maw Clan. I keep moving my mouse. So yeah, so those are all real good. Now, what else? You could get some crafted gear if you want. That doesn't require any drop rates, uh, just a little bit of coin. And if you're broke... I'm pretty sure it's Cataclysm. I don't know. I Someone told me it's Cataclysm, and it's real fucking easy to make gold. So uh, if you don't know how to personally make gold, I'm sure someone you you know in your guild knows how to make a pretty good amount of gold. So they're not too expensive if you gather them match yourself. Even if you don't right now, currently, it's not that bad like it used to be when I when I crafted them. They were going about 25k, and I was like, fuck that. I'll just gather the mats up myself. So you got a belt you could craft, you got a shield you could craft, and you got a chest you could craft. Um, this is not the chest, obviously. This is the tier 11 chest. So uh, I just I'm hovering over just for fucking educational purposes. So I got the I got the tier chest. That's why I did not craft the epic chest because I knew my first purchase was going to be the chest, just because it was such a huge stat upgrade. Now, so I'd recommend getting all that's six epics you could get, guys, that don't require any drop rates. So there was a guy crying to me the other day, like, oh, I haven't seen any gear drop. I'm like, well, you can get six epics that don't require drop rates that you could just fucking farm up. And you're, like I said, you're a tank. So you're going to be able to do these dungeons a lot and get that get that rep uh, quite faster than a DPS has to wait 30 minutes for a fucking queue. So, and especially if you're running with your guild, obviously it's going to be a lot smoother um, and you won't wipe as much. Let's compare some of the gear to the Valor gear. And the cool thing about the Valor gear is a lot of the stuff that they have available, we get for free from Rip. Obviously, it's, stat, uh, it's itemized a little bit different, but it's still, the point is is that you don't have to spend those Valor points right away on those, on those pieces. So comparing the Badge Cloak to the Vendor Cloak, or the Rep Cloak, basically you're losing Mastery for expertise that's basically what it is so you're giving up survivability for threat and that's usually basically all standard across the board when you see something that has expertise on it you're pretty much always going to give up a little bit of survivability for that extra threat um and there, it, 
one thing I want to say is that all the pieces that have expertise and hit on them are lower on strength. So you're losing your avoidance there. And that's not necessarily a bad thing if you think about it from a threat standpoint, because when you lose that strength, the avoidance you get from strength, you're going to be parrying less because you only get parry from strength, and you're going to be stacking vengeance faster. So it's gonna if you're looking for better threat, obviously expertise and hit are the way to go. And then it's gonna it, sometimes it lowers your avoidance a little bit, but that's not a bad thing if you're looking for strict threat because your vengeance is going to be able to stack a blow up faster because you're going to be avoiding less damage. In a progression type atmosphere, obviously that's not the best route to go. So what else can we compare? They have they have plate boots. Let me find them. Plate boots. Plate boots. Plate boots. Nope. Plate boots. Nope. They're down here somewhere. So here you go. Trade mastery for expertise. Once again, you guys see a theme here. So anytime you're trying to pick up some extra threat, you're always going to trade out some survivability. In most cases, I can't say in every case because I haven't seen every gear example. But yeah, so same situation as the back. Um, they have a ring that's really good. Now, if you're wondering what to purchase first, you might be that person that goes, oh, only 700 fucking Valor points for an epic best in slot relic? I'm going to get that first because it's cheap. I would not do that, and I would not recommend doing that. Yes, it is best in slot, and yes, it is you should get it, but the first thing you should get, no. Let's compare to what I have right now. Just look at the stat summary. It's Ratings Buster is my breakdown that I use for my stat summary. That's an add-on. So I'm getting about 200 more health and a little bit more. You see the stats? They're just a little bit. 0.02 dodge, 0.01 parry. It's a total of 0.04 avoidance. A little bit more mastery, 15 more mastery, a little bit more attack power, and obviously it doesn't factor in the socket, but a little bit more health. As opposed to saving up a little bit more Valor points and getting the tiered chest over my blue, which is about 900 more stamina, a bunch more expertise, Attack power, mastery, all the works. It's a huge, lot bigger stat upgrade to get the chest and just save up a little bit more than just getting the relic right off the bat. So I would. That's what. I, how, that's how I've always geared. I've always gone after the biggest stat upgrade first, regardless of cost. I've just grinded it out and just grind na gnashed my teeth and just you know said fuck it. I am gonna wait and get the bigger stat stat upgrade because it's gonna be a bigger payoff once I actually do get it. And I can get the relic whenever I want, because um, it is pretty cheap. So the ring's real good. Um, it, you know, I, w I would recommend getting that sometime. Just use your own fucking judgment when you want to get that. The trinket, I would not get the trinket ever. Um, I I've always been a stam trinket kind of guy. Uh, I might switch to a stam mastery trinket if I find a good epic mastery trinket. But as opposed to what I've seen epic-wise, um, I pretty, 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 I really like my stamina trinkets and. Comparing the armor to, say, the Wrath Armor Trinket in Ruby Sanctum, the Ruby Sanctum Trinket, which is item level, I don't even fucking remember now, but it's a, you know, it's a Wrath fucking Trinket. It's got a lot more armor on it. Obviously, the proc isn't as good or as beastly, but that's not really what should sway you on the item. The fact that it has, I think, like 700 less armor, maybe even more, should kind of indicate to you that that armor budget isn't very good for the points that you have to spend on it. So, uh, armor trinket's good. Yeah, yeah, maybe. You know, if you could get it for free or get it as a drop, I would not spend valor points on it if you're looking to get other gear. So, uh, other things that I would not get right off the bat would be the glove, the tier gloves, or let me find them. This one, the tier gloves. Even though they are good, yes, I have an explanation. Or the tier legs. Now, why? Why would you not want to get something very good? Well, if you're doing what you should be doing, you should be doing the Tolbarad instance every week, and it has a chance of dropping your tier gloves and tier legs um, when you do, when you kill the boss. So, if you do buy the gloves, I guarantee there's going to be at least one guy, at least one guy that's going to buy the gloves and then see that thing drop in there and be like, "What the fuck? I just wasted 1,650 valor points on." on these gloves that I just saw drop. So I would save those Valor points up, get your tier chest first, and then once you get your tier chest, make an educated decision. Be like, okay, am I going to QQ if I buy the gloves and I see them drop? 
or am I okay with them dropping and just getting my two piece? Because the two piece is really nice. It's a it's a obviously a threat two piece. So just make an educated decision. I would just, after you make uh, get your chest. Um, I want to get the legs after the chest because the legs are a little bit more expensive. So you so if you get uh, where are the legs right there. So if you get the gloves, um, you're gonna get your two piece faster. That's basically all I'm saying. So that's basically it. That's all I gotta say about that. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching my videos. Rate a thumbs up if you liked it and it helped. Peace out. Later.